Right, hello everybody, welcome to match day 3 in Rebel Season 11. Um, G-Man 2A is my division, and as you can see I'm missing an Armour 7 wrestler who I may sack, don't know. Um, so only 12 players, got tackle on Guy Corona. I've got two tackle claw pommers, which is pretty pretty tasty, isn't it? Um, and a tackle claw mighty, and a strength 4 tackles. I've got 4 tacklers for the elf matchups, which is quite nice. Um, 1950. He um, up against Hindi with Kislev is actually a two. It's over two k the team, but he's got two missed next game. Like he's got, he's got three nearly over three hundred TV missing the game. So he's like twenty one fifty plus. I don't even. I can't even work out what that is, but it's a lot. <laughs> three seventy, isn't it? Three seventy out there. So he's an insane TV. Um, but he's actually got two missing. So he's only got twelve players. Uh, he's got a strength four blitzer there. He's got a couple of catches. He's got loads of guard. And he's got a pommer, so uh, it's a little bit scary. Uh, he's only got two dodgers, so they're going to be, you know, under a lot of pressure with four tacklers. <laughs> he's got 90k, we'll see. It'll be interesting if he, like, takes a wizard for the win. Or a babe, or, well, not apple. Apple for survival. No, he's going for the win. He's going for the win. And now I wish this was at Hindi Stadium. At the start of the season, I was happy that it wasn't at Hindi Stadium because Hindi has the uh, has the Wizard Stadium, and I thought it's pretty hard to beat Kislev, two K Kislev with the Wizard. But <laughs> um, now that now that he's actually the one down TV, I wouldn't mind have been been at his stadium. But never mind. It's going to be really tough, really tough with a with a Wizard and uh, catches. At least he's missing his edge five and one of his edge fours. I definitely gonna kick. Well, why? I shouldn't have bothered about winning. I should have just try to kill the players and survive. That was that was stupid. I forgot what league I was playing in. Of course, result. <laughs> I've already drawn and lost, so now the result is absolutely not important. Oh well, never mind. Don't just be a dumbass. Right, all these four tacklers. That's brilliant, isn't it? Right. Um. Can save this setup and confirm. And then say hello, 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 Pedro. Value sub one k by then, hopefully. Yeah, that's, that's always my goal. That is always my goal with every every game of Blood Bowl I ever play. <laughs> um, usually don't get close. <laughs> Yeah, he's actually quite rowdy, isn't he? He's got he's got a, quite a lot of guard. I've what got three, four guard. I've only got four guard, and he's got four guard. Um, but four tackle is very nice. Two full claw pommers. Flat fat's nearly a legend. Five cas. Hopefully he gets legend this game here. That'd be pretty good. Five cas for legend. Couple of tuddies and a cows for him. He's quite close as well. So these two are both kind of close to another level. A blots. <laughs> Hello. Hello, little claw pom man. Hello. How you feeling, buddy? How you fucking feeling? <laughs> Baby. Come to butthead. And we get a big fat fucking nothing, of course, like every fucking time. Flip me, guys. Ensuite, j'ai du Dr. Flu, un voyageur du temps infecté par la pourriture de Nurgle qui se promène dans l'histoire et contamine tout le monde. Shouldn't complain after getting a blitz, should you, but flip me. 
Ce joueur est un vrai boucher. Après sa bio, il fait aussi de l'animation pour les goûter l'anniversaire. Un ballon par terre est un ballon dangereux. Il faut le récupérer et vite <laughs> On the eight, get the zombie from a blitz. Hello, I've teachers. Hello, success. I don't care for the format at all, no. I think it's the... I hate leagues. I hate big... Um, I hate big... You know, perpetual leagues like Rebel. I hate them. <laughs> I think they're terrible and shit. But <laughs> um, I think oh. the. But the thing is that this is the thing, right? I think Rebel is the best one. I think Rebel is the best one. Because at least it's got the playoffs and everything, so you don't need to play for like three years to get the top division of OCC. So, you know, and it is nice to just have a team that carries on, isn't it? You know, unlike unlike CCL, where you just your team wipes every fucking month. You know, at least with this, you get to keep a long term team. Don't want to fucking play an open, though open is about as competitive as Rebel. Um, so, you know, I could play an open, I guess, in shorter turn times, but I don't know. It's the biggest league, isn't it? And it's the the best run, arguably, I guess, but definitely better run than than uh, UK BBL. <laughs> better admins than UK BBL, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, after getting robbed by a complete dickhead there, um, so, you know, I, I shouldn't judge the whole of UK BBL on the basis of one shitty admin. But there you go, I do. So sue me. I can do, think what I want, can't I? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's tainted UK BBL for me. OCC, you've got to play for like you know half your life to get the top division. Um, so I do like I do kind of like you know I view Rebel as the least bad if you like. But yeah, I don't like I don't like these kind of perpetual leagues. It's just bollocks in it. It's absolute bollocks. <laughs> the whole thing is shit. <laughs> when you're playing games where. Somebody not dying is more important than winning the game. That's crap, in it? Hey, he'll greet this one. Should do. Glorious! Beat or ban from this channel is a blessed trust me. <laughs> when you learn respect about your opponents, wake me up. But I don't think miracles exist at this level. Chow loser, I mute sound. <laughs> did someone say that to you? Did they help? Well, thanks for the resub. Thanks for staying fantastic. Glorious. He's running out of players now, isn't he? Because if he if he gets a 2D on this lad, then he's not going to have players over here to protect the ball and stuff. That was Kero in this channel, was it? Yeah. I can't. I'll have to. I'll have to have a look. Because I, I, to be honest, I was. I, I heard it. I heard it, but um, I didn't see it written down. Hey, he's rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Kislev, man. <laughs> fucking little Kislev, fucking. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes, I know. I know. I knew that was Carol Barrow. Once I looked at it, I knew it was Carol Barrow. Um, right. Let's punch him. Punch him. All right, better. OK. 
key. GFI, the 3D him. Seems quite good, doesn't it? That'll teach me to care about the ball, won't it? And thank you very much, Matto, for staying fantastic for quite a long time. Don't say that though, Matto, naughty boy. Don't say that. Should have just hit the one that was closer, shouldn't I? But I like the, you know, I like the opportunity to maybe hurt the guard, but that was a bit shit by me. I also I cleared the tackle zone, didn't I? For the ball. Like I could have gone for a double G if I pick up the ball if I'd used my reroll. Um so you know, I kind of liked going for the ball there, but I guess I shouldn't have done. They are some strong ass goats, yeah. Where did you spit on France? <laughs> I didn't thirteen months. Thank you very much, Matt. Thanks for staying fantastic. Glorious. Glorious. I mean, to be fair, that could have been great, right? Because I could have 3D'd him, powered him, yeah, put him to here. He could have, I could have powered him with the first block. Um, what's that? I could have powered him with the first block. He could have gone and based him. And he could have blitzed him, powered him. And then all of his guys have been t t in tackle zones. And he could have maybe picked up the ball. And then it would have been incredible, wouldn't it? So, yeah, it's still bad for him. I mean, that's the thing. My team is ridiculous, isn't it? To be fair. To be honest. My team is fucking ridiculous. So, you know, there's so much strength. It, it gets very hard for anybody to do anything. It's always horrible for my opponents. <laughs> you know, the team is just ridiculous. Don't even need to do anything, do you? You just need to fucking stand around and they're like, well, I can make this 2D and this 3D, but, or this 2D, what, what else can I do? Leap and do things. I think even if he gets away with the ball here, it's still looking not good. Can you link FD's Dwarf team? Because I haven't heard of that FT just. But I agree, this team and Andy's team are both outrageously good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Ah, parfait! <laughs> Come on, double ones. Ah, boo. Oh shit, the bear. The bear's gonna fuck him up. Rot all. Only two dice though. 
Yay, bonehead. Oh, ho, 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 that, that absolutely, that exposes the ball as well. Huge. Huge exposes the ball. Well, if we get a pow. Oh, we do. Oh, and a Kaz. Oh, oh, flip me. Flip me, guys. Flip me, guys. That was a very costly bonehead for him. Very costly, a bone head. Alright, let's um, do some safe moves first. I'm not averse to that. Good greed re-roll there, thank you very much. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. Not dead. Jim Shad, not dead, but pretty brutal so far. Two Kaz already. Two rerolls gone though, so I've got to play a bit more careful after this. <laughs> A 2560 dwarf team. <laughs> That's insanity. A strength 4 blitzer, two strength 5 blockers. <laughs> loads of guard, loads of blood. That, how did they lose in the playoffs? Who, who the fuck beat this team in the uh, in the playoffs? My god. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he just single up or out. He went for the wizard. Went for the win. Wow. Yeah, that is an insane dwarf team. Wow. Wow. It was posted above. GFI Joe. End the turn for I fuck's just, sake! It just took me a while. End the fucking turn, Cause I, man! Because I only look at chat on my opponent's turn now. Um, like a good boy. It took me a while to respond. There you go. Yeah, it's... I mean, to be fair, he's in a horrible situation. You can understand it, can't you? Like, all of my guys are stronger than his. Like, it is ridiculous. It is just like a fucking lizard man team with claw. It's, it's nuts. It's completely nuts. So, I understand. <laughs> I understand him taking a while. Yeah, 
Two strength. That's an insane dwarf team, isn't it? My god. Oh dear. Yeah, it's not a, that's not a team you want to play with elves, is it? <laughs> like at least chaos might just murder him. But um Or at least not get as murdered, but elves are just gonna be fed to him. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if you win. Il s'est emparé du ballon. Très judicieux de sa part puisqu'il faut le ballon pour marquer des points. <laughs> He's making his leaps at least. Keeping him in it, isn't it? The leaps of keep him in, keep him, keeping him in the game. If I could speak English. It was a really good turn from him, actually, dice-wise. Thing is, <laughs> I could double GFI Blitz, right? But I've only got one rerolls. I don't really want to do that. Let me, guys. Alright, so go, go a couple of guys back. So even if he bolts one, the other one can hit him. <laughs> String! I'm going for the win. It's not pixel saving, it's reroll saving. It's just reroll management. Uh, Sage could watch it. <laughs> But yeah, I got two strength four tacklers back there. Not looking good for a strength two dodge carrier, is it? <laughs> disgusting. What a disgusting team.
Yep, so he's relying on some leaps, but I mean, he's got a reroll, so maybe he will be able to screen off. You never know. Oh, he's finally failed one. Fly and fall, little Kislev. <laughs> Le turnover. Hello, and Ginger Wolf. Right. I mean, I'm gonna re-roll if it's a triple down. I'm not gonna re-roll if it's uh, anything else. I don't need the assist, I know that. It's just, you know, I guess I am. I'm re-rolling if it's not a pal. Okay. Right, so he can pick the ball up. Good. He can herb derp him. As can he. Can't get a foul in, unfortunately. Four, five, six, seven. We can do a 3D here. <laughs> no, I wouldn't forget the cheeky sir. But it just it was the re least relevant thing, wasn't it? I was not going to re-roll it, so I want to do it late. But not last, because I still wanted to do it. Flip me. This was a <laughs> sad, tragic little series of blocks over here, wasn't it? Does he bolt a fireball or does he save it to try and turn me over in the second half? That's the question, isn't it? Because he could score here, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, double GFI. But using the wizard to score on his own drive isn't very good anyway. Foul with Warrior. No, 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 no. No, he's just a rookie catcher as well, isn't he? You know, if you if it if it baits out the wizard here, that's fine, isn't it? At the end of the day. Four turns to score back. With hit with a depleted team for him. Ten max. Except the serve. Yeah, exactly L cry. So that so if I'd fouled him. It would have taken away the chance for him to, to like, kind of waste his wizard if you like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello, y'all, <yeah, they're> <laughs> Yeah, they are frogs, aren't they? Yeah. Fireball and no balls. He could fireball. Big payoff if he fireballs, I guess. If he just has the, like, you know, it would be an Artemis Black fireball, wouldn't it? Um, it's the claw tackle and the other tackle. And, um, you know, he could knock all three down, couldn't he? And then just scurry away with the ball and score but they actually uh, this team isn't 2k Wayne Ferrar lied it's 2.2 .2 when fully fit but um it's not fully fit it's actually only 1860 which is why he's got the wizard that he's just used so title is not even clickbaity it was just an honest mistake um normally he's like he's like 2 230 normally <laughs> 
<laughs> Normally it's 2.2k, that's crazy, isn't it? Hey! Two GFIs, two naked GFIs. No. Well, he's out of rerolls anyway. And it, it burnt his wizard on his offense, so that's great to not have to not have to bother about, not have to live in fear of the wizard for the rest of the match. Indeed. Thomas stays out. Halfway to victory on that front. 50-50, he stays out for the whole match now. Provided I score in four turns. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine players. Some claw pom hits to come. Kurpam! Kurpam hits! <laughs> this is the tricky drive, isn't it? With only one reroll and four turns. Second half should just be a massacre. <laughs> a leisurely massacre second half. This needs to... I've got to play at least somewhat coherently. <laughs> this, these four turns. <laughs> Indeed, that was that was why I picked up with him because I thought it makes him it makes him a juicier target to tempt the whiz, doesn't it? Though obviously I didn't like the fact that I might have got bolted, but um, GFI to hit him, I can't I can't risk a GFI, can I, with only the rerolls? But I can at least he's giving me a lot of space to get forward actually. So, blitz with him. Seems we're not going to blitz anybody over there. Blitz with him. Run around here, and then there's a 3D and another 3D. And. Yeah. No, get the ref! Ha ha ha! No fouling my curb arm! Right. Ooh la la! his setup that made it creative right because there was no threat of a blizzard uh, blitz a blizzard there was no threat of a blitz so it was, it was his setup that that, that uh, made this setup possible go on flap fart fuck him up Loser. Loser. How can you get? Not forward enough. Can't even base me, lads, boys, lads. Right, good. Pretty good. Move these back so that he can't leap forward. If I based him, he could have leap dodged, couldn't he? Whereas now he's have to leap dodge. Well, he can leap dodge that way. But he, if he went this way, he'd have to leap dodge dodge to get through. So it kind of stopped him getting in the backfield with, with the leaper there. Intellectuals chaos there for you. 
I have to do the handoff, aren't I? One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, I don't even need to do the handoff. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can get there. And then there, then in. Brilliant. Ah, oh, it's not copyright, no. Oh. <laughs> you twat. <laughs> <laughs> Left that guy down. I'm still going to risk going over this side. Cheeky little eye cage. L'équipe forme une cage autour du ballon. Pas bête comme tactique. the 3D, isn't it? That's safer with only one reroll. Problem is, getting safe from this fucking bear, but never mind. If he hits me, he hits me, I guess. <laughs> it's copyright edgy file. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, Matt. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, mind game seminar, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, brilliant. He does have the strength for leap in. And you just have the guard as well, so I'd like to deal with one of those next turn, wouldn't I? Hooked up. Base, base, base. Well done, Matt. Oh, oh he's, he's gone for the hit. The uphill. The cheeky uphill. Well done, buddy. Unfortunately, you can't really stop Kislev doing a leap for an uphill, can you? Not a lot you can do about that. No rerolls either. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> nothing, nothing annoys me more than Kislev not failing leaps. <laughs> Absolutely, Jeff. Absolutely. Right. So, the Blitz has to be on him. 100%. Teen range? Yes. He's in range. So, we've got three scoring threats anyway already, so we don't need to bother about that. We just need to bother about clearing this ball. Ball is cleared.
chance. C'est pour ça que j'adore ce jeu. I'd really like to have it on the move 7. But I think it's more important to hit this guy. The only thing is I can't claw on him. Uh, but can three dice in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So GFI puts us in range and also puts us in an eye cage. If he is there. Good players in front. So God, they're naturally just a little full cage now, right? Might as well. Oh, can I just do the absolute full cage? Maybe. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. One, two, three, four, five. GFI. All right. All right. Let's do this. After GFI, anyway. Oh, I can't have the full cage. Oh, I thought I could have the full cage. I literally thought I could have the nine-man cage. I only had eight. Shit. Double GFI here. It still stops him getting the guard in, and he's got a hit from the back. Good. That's good enough. Good enough. Can only hit from one direction, so he can't get his guard in for the assist. <laughs> He can't get his guard in for the assist, so all he can do is uphill. And he's got to push me towards the end zone. <laughs> Would have loved a nine man cage. <laughs> that is some turtling, isn't it? That is some absolute turtling. <laughs> He can chain me back one though, can't he? He can easily chain me back one. So this isn't so good, actually. <laughs> he can just chain me back and make me do a make me do a GFI here. Power turtle. Also he's gotta he's gotta stop at least one of those assists, otherwise it's a fuck's sake. 3D uphill. End the fucking turn, man! Yeah, bear on the ball. Not gonna help me much though, is it? But I might do. Oh! <laughs> the French commentary is fucking amazing. How many fun it is? It's a tame bear help, in other words, enslaved bear. <laughs> He's going for the three plus uphill, no re rolls, flip me. Does it again? Does it again? <laughs> oh man. Yes. Ultimate scatter. It was also an ultimate scatter cube as well from a wrestle, wasn't it? So that there was that going for us too. Maybe he should have uh, put everybody in the cage, or like not everybody, but a couple of players in to make the sc scatter catches harder. I mean, it wasn't that lucky, was it? To be fair, one, two, three, four, five of them gave me a four plus catch, 
and one gave me a five plus catch. So there was a good chance of getting a chance to uh, getting chances of catching it. It was lucky, don't get me wrong, it was but then you know he needed a three plus and an uphill to, to get it out, so it wasn't that lucky, was it? It would have felt bad yesterday, Nick. It would have felt bad. <laughs> He's not trying to stop it. <laughs> 99 is going straight over there. Maybe. Now, do a 3D here. I want to. I really want to. I really want a 3D. 3D. Really want to see those fingers. Could 3D blitz him without... Might without piling on, but I think it's better to just pile on this fuck. High test pile on. <laughs> Risky. <laughs> I test 3D. I do like the chaos celebration. Very good. Come on, Blitz is still, please. Yes, Blitz is out. What a fantastic non pile on that was. Yeah, first touchdown of this season. <laughs> Unbelievable. <Woo. laughs> Oh, that's incredible that that KO stuck for the whole game. Four, five, six, seven, eight players. He is his move, yeah. He's looking good as well. 81. Need four, cas four more cans from Flat Fart this game, though. Come on, Flat Fart. We want you to get a legend. Flip me. Flip me, Flat Fart. Yeah, I should have fouled there, I guess, um, at some point. I wish it wasn't Kislev so I could just dick around farming passes, but um, I can't really, can I? Ooh. Now we've got a Blutz to use. Flop fart, you can Blitz that guy. Got to defend against the uh, Blitz a little bit, haven't I? Is this it? Probably. <laughs> if remove seven, <laughs> seven more players, you can do some buzzes. Yeah, that's the plan. Hey, save my, save my guy from certain death. Uh, movement seven guy. There you go. I hate caging at the LOS normally, but I feel against Kislev it's all right. Because, um, think of a reason so you can sound smart. Um, why, why do I like it against Kislev? Um, because you want a big mess of players, don't you, around the ball? That's it. Hopefully not, Jeff. Hopefully not.
Hmm. Thank God he hasn't got a wizard now, isn't it? Brilliant. Brilliant that he ain't got a wizard now. Mighty push. After the wizard gone, I mean, the, big, the biggest thing is the wizard gone. They're a nightmare to play with a wizard, I think. But uh, without the wizard, they lose a lot of their threat, don't they? If you've removed as many as I have. But I mean, if they had a wizard, this would still be terrifying, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know, Jordan. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, it was pretty random. I chose to... I chose to... Uh, ignore it, but I don't... Is one of these called that? Yeah, there you go. The Huns Gefrikta. Gefrikta? Fikta. Gefrikta, obviously. Fikta Ikala. That was what it was. In Deedlaw's word first, I was happy that he, uh... Not another dead. Okay, good. At first, I was happy that it was at, at my stadium. But then he had a couple of injuries, so he was on 1860, so I would have actually liked it to have been at my stadium, as it happened. But, um... Oh, God, here we go. Only a two uphill, isn't it? Whee! Whee! Even better! Flip you. Right. Do we have a rookie here? Oh, we've got a sure hand, which is the same as a rookie. Right. The guard can go in here. He can go in there. We can go there. He can go there. I don't just give him one leap to get in, so we're going to have to go here. Got him. Wow, his bear's been pretty shit. Probably gonna get MVP. <laughs> oh, he re-rolled it. Johan's Beesman is officially useless, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and these leaps. <laughs> these leaps. He's got block, hasn't he? Que 
GFI for a pawn, I guess so. Time to kill the bear. Flip me. Lord test non pile. Nice to get the mighty blowout, exactly, yeah. It's team team preservation, isn't it? N number one. So. Get fucked, you little cunt! Taking out the mighty blow is, <laughs> is important. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Tell him in chat that you're going to bang his bear off. I'm not going to do that. It's mean. You've got four men. He's probably going to run away now, isn't he? I imagine. Which will give us the chance of a completion. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, Pedro, yeah. It's, that is an absolute pro tip. I need to do pro tip fouling, don't I? And uh, get the run-ups. Get the run-ups on. Look at these fucking leaps, man. They do my nutting. <laughs> they proper do my nutting, these leaps. I mean, I know obviously the rest of the dice have been in my favour, but um... That is simply not true. The data <laughs> does not support your assertion. <laughs> Very good, John Miller. Um, this one's kind of close. He's on 69, so if he does a completion and a tuddy, then he's a tuddy away, isn't he? Which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, flap fast. He's facing him as well, so that was good, isn't it? Getting a hit there. One, two, three, four, five. Double G fight to hit him. <laughs> Doing this so he falls over. Flip. Flipping me. Guy de Caron is on the chase. Sextus Bones. Giving him a way out. Shithead show hands is here just in case. Oh, I need an assist. Alright, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Fucking go, meat slabs. This was fucking disappointing, I must say. It appears that I have a strength 4 character here. So I'll kick his bloody face off! With strength 4! Pathetic. Pathetic foul. <laughs> yes, it sort of does. Yeah, that has been... That has been somewhat the strap. He's gone for the old <laughs> fail dodges so you don't get clawed strap. Oh, 
Right. Le joueur passe le ballon, mais parviendra-t-il à Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça Ah, si seulement il cognait comme il faut tourner le ballon Nice as I'd like it. Est il vraiment raisonnable de lui marcher sur le coup avec des bottes loutées? I'd rather foul the show hand. I think the show hand's a better foul route. There you go, he is. Point proven. Goal shot could have leveled, could have got a dirty player. Instead, he's down here getting fucking KO'd. <laughs> getting, he's, and he's out here getting knocked the fuck out. <laughs> I maybe he should have scored with him actually, get a dirty player just to try and hurt Davos' team more. <laughs> I think a win is on the cards, definitely. I think there's a chance. I think there's a chance of a win now. A vague, a vague chance of actually winning a game with this fucking team. It's my stadium, so I can't get thrown by hit by a thrown rock, so I don't have to uh, foul with a better player. Right, he's fucking does the job, this little runt. Oops. Nah, he's, he's quite a far way away. Quite far from the level. Oh, I should have had him the sand on the LOS, shouldn't I? I didn't think about the LOS. Oh, flip me. No, I want, I want to score with him because then he's a touchdown away from the level. Or an MVP away. I guess he would have been an MVP away if I'd scored with him. But, um... Right, there is the LOS to think about. So... Flap fart. <laughs> Fucking lovely flap fart. The Gospel of Lord Kiro, chapter 4, verse 20, and lo. Jimmy was disrespectful to his opponent, and Kiro did look down and was disappointed. Shaking his head, he spoke out with a mighty cry. Your opponent is playing his Kisler better than you play your Chaos. And Jimmy cried, for he knew the truth of it. Quote. <laughs> hey, Amen. Thank you very much for the Fitz Jordan Award. <laughs> He's gonna stay out, isn't he? We haven't got shitters for the LOS, and he's got he's got the pom back. Oh no! Oh, why did I foul with the short hands? Oh, that was idiotic, idiotic fouling with the short hands. I'm gonna pay the price with a dead warrior. I guess actually I could have, um, the warrior could have gone and, uh, 
done something, couldn't he? Uh, is this even? I don't think I can set it up properly here, can I? No. The warrior could have uh, could have gone done a completion of his own and then scored and been on twenty eight. Would have been pretty good actually. I don't know. I like get. I like the movement one going to seventy three because he's the kind of player who might just get one in open play, mightn't he? And then he'll go to seventy six and I'll be quite happy. And I, you know, at the end of the day, the the guard warrior is the one who's getting punched more anyway. You know, he's the one that's exposed in the rule of five setup. So I think it's more valuable to go for the players I'm looking after. Plus, he might get short hands on this guy, and then I've got a strength four short hands move seven, which is pretty good, isn't it? I don't need to bother with this shithead carrier. Like, I really want to replace the shithead sure hands guy um, with a movement up, strength up carrier, which is pretty useful, isn't it? Pretty fucking handy. Oh, Carol Bear on this blessed Easter Sunday. Fucking <laughs> Carol Bear. Oh, he's something else, wasn't he? <laughs> Hey! Got a foul. Yes, run up as well. He's gone for the run up foul. Glorious. Hey! Look at that. Because it's a Croxigo, isn't it? <laughs> Put simply, it's because it's a Croxigo. Oh, the old Chaos Celebrating screen. Haven't seen it in about a million fucking years. That was good to see. Right. Um, yeah, reroll, I guess. Hey. Goodbye, Beastman. Flip me, guys. Got the, got the MVP. Glorious. <laughs> 24 MVP breaks to 6. And, uh, yeah, that was good, wasn't it? 37 blocks to 22. Actually murdered him. Glorious. And what I want to see is... Um, is well let's have a look at this 24 39 28 so actually bad block dice 24 39 28 millions of gym pals 18 14 19 um let's have a look at the leap 85 percent on three plus leaps wow unbelievable jeff but i didn't do him enough <laughs> that wasn't enough for him because he had no fucking players left bonehead was horrible five out of eight and yeah, at the end of the day, my block dice were good enough, and my 2d6 were good enough. But that was it, wasn't it? And the blitz was big. The blitz was big because he he started off his offense with like everybody uh, everybody in contact and just a horrible situation, wasn't it? So you know, it, it was it was brutal. <laughs> Has. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Toxic! <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, the MVP did go to shit, actually. It was a bad MVP. But it's good that he's like he's close to a level, you know. To, I, I do want these... At the end of the day, I want one of these to skill to get Dirty Player. Um, yeah, much, much better in tabletop. Yeah, much better. Of course, it's more fun, isn't it? And that should be the point. The point of the game should be fun to retain players, shouldn't it? Everyone who argues against the D3 MVP is shit and wrong. Right, anyway, the, the statistics page is crap. And I always in the team stream on the statistics page when it's a champs ladder run, but that's kind of irrelevant for Rebel, isn't it? Um, I should do the table. I'll do the table. That's how I'll end the, that's how I'll end the Rebel streams. Right, so there you go. Win now puts us... Puts us up a bit. I mean, a horrible start. Winning a lot, drawing a loss. They should have both been. I should have been on three wins. Absolutely, should be on three wins. I, the dice were good enough, really. I just, uh, you know, there were some dice at crucial points that didn't go my way, but I could have played better in all of them. So it really should be three and zero. But there you go. I, I, the dice were good enough to be three and zero. I just let myself down with a draw and a loss. So there you go. Thanks for playing. If you enjoy th playing, thanks for watching, and thanks Hindi for playing as well. And if you enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.